quarantines, isolations, and curfews. We are in the middle of a COVID-19 pandemic. As a church, we are forced to be apart, yet we are connected by our technologies and most of all, by the blood of Jesus Christ. Welcome to another Breakout Breakthrough service, quarantine style. So glad that you could join us. As I am outdoors, because of the curfew, we have to be home by six o'clock. There are some other persons who will be joining me for today's service. So we invite you to stay tuned, pray with us, agree with us, and be blessed. As we enter into our first season of prayer, I invite us to quiet our hearts before the Lord. I invite us to come with a heart of expectation. Our first season of prayer will be prayers of praise and adoration unto our God. We are fully aware that in the midst of this pandemic, there are families who are going through a rough time and there are different situations that persons have been facing because of this very unwelcomed guest in our shores. But we as Christians, we know that our God is sovereign. We know that he is unchangeable and we know that he is still worthy of our praise and we want to give to him what he deserves. I want to read for you just a few verses out of Isaiah chapter 40 as we, you know, kind of refresh our minds on the, of, of the fact that God is indeed sovereign. And it says, Who has measured the waters in the hollow of his hand or with the breath of his hand marked off the heavens? Who has held the dust of the earth in a basket? Or weighed the mountains on the scales and the hills in a balance? Who can fathom the spirit of the Lord or instruct the Lord as his counselor? Whom did the Lord consult to enlighten him? And who taught him the right way? Who was it that taught him knowledge or showed him the path of understanding? Surely the nations are like a drop in a bucket. They are regarded as dust on the scales. He weighs the islands as though they were fine dust. Lebanon is not sufficient for the altar fires, nor its animals enough for burnt offerings. Before him all the nations are as nothing. They are regarded by him as worthless and less than nothing. With whom then will you compare God? To what image will you liken him? As for an idol, a metal worker casts it, and a goldsmith overlays it with gold and fashions silver chains for it. A person too poor to present such an offering selects wood that will rot, that will not rot. They look for a skilled worker and to, to, to set up an idol that will not topple. Verse 21 says, do you not know? Have you not heard? Has it not been told you from the beginning? Have you not understood since the earth was founded? He sits enthroned above the circle of the earth and its people are like grasshoppers. He stretches out the heavens like a canopy and spreads them out like a tent to live in. He brings princes to naught and reduces the rulers of this world to nothing. No sooner are they planted, no sooner are they sown, no sooner do they take root in the ground than he blows on them and they wither and a whirlwind sweeps them away like chaff. To whom will you compare me? Or who is my equal, says the Holy One? Lift up your eyes and look to the heavens. Who created all these? He who brings out the starry hosts one by one and calls forth each of them by name because of his great power and mighty strength. Not one of them is missing. So why do you complain, Jacob? 
Why do you say, Israel, my way is hidden from the Lord, my cause is disregarded by my God? Do you not know? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He will not grow tired or weary, and his understanding no one can fathom. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Let us pray. Everlasting Father, Abba Father, compassionate and reliable God, we come to you in no other name but the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. We adore you, we magnify you, we lift you up, we glorify you because you are God. You are God and there is none who can be compared to you. Lord God, you are the creator of the heavens and the earth. You stretch out the stars in the sky and not one of them is missing. Lord, there is nothing that goes on on earth that takes you by surprise. You are the almighty God and we exalt you. We honor you. Lord, we praise you because you are our sustenance. We glorify you because you, you preserve our lives. Lord, today we are in the land of the living because of your grace and your mercy. You are faithful, mighty God, through the ages. And we give you glory. We thank you, O oh God Almighty, for you are good. You are intrinsically good. And you are light and you are love and we worship you today. What a wonderful God you are. Lord, you, you, every morning we wake up, your mercies are new. Lord, you continue to provide for us. You give us peace because you are Yahweh Shalom. Lord, you are our shepherd. You preserve us in, in the midst of the turmoil. You, you keep us, mighty God, and you protect us when the enemy comes in like a flood. You are our God. You are the only God. We declare you to be our trust. We honor you and we magnify you, O oh God. Lord, just, just big up yourself in our circumstances, God. As we, we make ourselves small so that you can become big. We exalt you, O oh God, for you deserve it. So, Father God, we, we just praise you and we adore you. And, and we pause to say we love you so much. We love you, O oh God, for you are with us and you continue to be with us. We love you. We exalt you. We extol your name. We make you bigger in our circumstances. We magnify you. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, O oh God. Lord, we just want to commit to you this time of prayer. We pray for every person who will be participating in this time of prayer, O oh God. And we just pray that by the power of your Holy Spirit, you will speak to the hearts of your people. Every person who will watch this program, let it not just be watching, but it will be participating, oh God. And I pray that beyond our voices and beyond our, our skills and our gifts and our talents, oh God, that your spirit will minister to the hearts of your people. Lord, let your word reach far and wide as we give you the glory, the honor, and the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Can you say amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good evening, brothers and sisters. I want to welcome you to our Breakout Breakthrough session. Please join me in prayer as we pray and ask the Lord, you know, as we come to him for repentance and asking that he consecrate us. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, 
Lord, we come to you knowing that you are our sovereign God, that you are the Lord of Lords, Father, that you are the I am that I am, that you are the conquering lion of the tribe of Judah, that you are the first and you are the last. We know, God, that there is absolutely none that can be compared or likened unto you. We know, Lord God, that we can come to you boldly, Lord God, knowing that you are able to, to receive our prayers, Father. This evening, God, we present ourselves to you asking that you will cleanse us, God. We ask for individual cleansing upon our lives, Lord God. We pray that even as we present ourselves at the altar right now, that Lord God, your Holy Spirit will move upon us and perform the cleansing work even now, from the crowns of our heads to the soles of our feet. Father God, we present ourselves to you because we know that of ourselves we are nothing and that we have all sinned and come short of your glory. Dear Lord, we present, Lord God, our churches before you. Lord God, the churches across the nation of Jamaica, the churches across the globe, Lord God. We ask, Lord God, that you will move forth and, Lord, that you will touch your people in a special way. That you will call out, Lord God, your people. And, Father, that you will move upon them, Lord God. And, Lord, that in this time, in this turbulent time of COVID-19, God, that, Lord God, you will move upon the hearts of your people and yes God even as we present ourselves to you Lord God that you will cleanse us Lord God liberally Lord God we seek not our own righteousness because our own righteousness is like filthy rags God so we renounce our own righteousness even as we cleave to the righteousness of the most high God and father we ask Lord God that you would pour out your spirit upon us because you have said that in the last days that you will pour your spirit out upon all flesh God, we present the nation Jamaica before you. Father God, we stand in the gap for our nation Jamaica. We stand in the gap, Lord God, for all those persons who do not know you as Lord and Savior. And we pray, Father God, that the gospel will move forth, Lord God, through your people, to the ears of all those who do not know you, God, in a personal way. I pray, God, that you will touch those hearts, that you will make those hardened hearts, hearts of, 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 of flesh, God. Those hearts of stones will be melted God and that they will become receptive to your word yes father we ask that you will cleanse us afresh that we will you will consecrate us afresh God even as we submit and commit our lives to you father God it is all about you Lord God it is all about doing your will I pray that you will enable us that even in our weaknesses God that you will become strong that Lord God we will let go of our own Lord God weaknesses we will let go Lord God even of our strengths so that you can become strong in our lives Father God Lord God we commit our lives to you even now we commit our steps to you even now we commit our ways to you even now and our lives take full and complete control Father God and just have your way even now as we pray in Jesus' name Amen Amen Father, we worship you, O oh God. We honor you and glorify your name. You are God all by yourself. You reign supreme, Lord God. You reign supreme. Thank you, Jesus, for being king. Thank you for being Lord. Thank you, Almighty God, for being the conquering land of the tribe of Judah. Hallelujah. God, we lift you up. We thank you. We honor you and bless your name, Jesus. We thank you for this morning. We thank you for another opportunity, Lord God, in your presence, O oh God. Thank you, Jesus, that we can come to you and beseech your throne, O oh God. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that you reign, Lord God, you reign over everything, Almighty God. But God, we still come. We come, Lord God, to seek your face. God, we come to seek your hands. Almighty God, we come, Lord God, on behalf of families, Almighty God, in this world, in this country, in our church, in our neighborhood, Almighty God. Father God, you are familiar, Lord Jesus, with every family everywhere. And God, we come to you, Lord God. We pray that you, Lord God, will touch our family right now this morning. Lord God, we pray that, Lord Jesus, you will, Lord God, even now provide for our family that needs financial resources at this moment. God, some family, Lord God, that is reaching out to you, oh God. Lord God, I pray that, Lord God, you will reach down, Lord God, and touch them. Mighty God, I pray that you will provide. 
I pray that you will restore. I pray, Almighty God, that you, Lord God, will come through, Lord God. For somebody who is seeking, Lord Jesus, a spiritual upliftment even now in the name of Jesus. God, they may be feeling weak. Almighty God, I might have doubted that you would come through. Lord God, but we are coming to you. We are we are beseeching your throne, Almighty God, on behalf of our family, Lord God. That's at the end, Lord God, of their rope, Almighty God. Lord God, the breadwinner might have lost the job, Almighty God, and there might not be any resources even now. But God, I pray that you will come through for our family, Lord God, that is reaching now to you, O God. Father, right now we pray, Lord God, that you will touch, Lord Jesus, even now, some husband who might have strayed, some wife who might have strayed. I pray that, Lord God, you will bring them back to the home. Almighty, Almighty God, I pray that you will provide for them. God, I pray that you will touch, Lord Jesus, even now. Almighty God, some bank books. Almighty God, some cupboards, some resources, Almighty God, and provide for families. Lord God, not just financially, but emotionally and spiritually, Almighty God. I pray, Lord Jesus, that you, Lord God, will reach down, Almighty God, and lift us up, Lord God, out of the situation, God. Lord God, this pandemic might have dampened our spirit, but it has not killed us. Almighty God, and I speak to some dry bones even now in the name of Jesus. And I pray that dry bones will be lifted, oh God, in the name of Jesus. God, I pray that you, Lord God, will ride in, Lord God, and fix things even now in the name of Jesus. Right now, Almighty God, I pray, Almighty God, for some families, Lord Jesus, that are desperate, desperately in need of some spiritual help, oh God. Come through for them, Lord God. Desperately in need of some emotional assistance, Almighty God. They're struggling, but God, you can come through. Thank you, Jesus, for what you have done in the past. Thank you, Jesus, for restoring our help. Thank you, Jesus, for coming through for us. Oh God, we lift you up. We honor you. We bless your name. We bless your name. We honor you and thank you for what you have done in the past, what you are going to do, and what you are doing even now. We bless you. We honor you. We give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Hi everyone, I would like to just share a brief testimony as it relates to the COVID-19 um, pandemic. Um, I'm used to going out and um, socializing with persons. Um, I realized that during this pandemic it has been really, really hard as it relates to that. Um, but the good thing is I still have a job and on top of that, I've always asked for alone time with God um, because during work days, I usually just get up and have a very, very quick devotion. But since the COVID-19 um, pandemic, I've been able to spend more time with God and um, being his presence. And I'm very thankful for that. Good evening, good evening, everyone. My name is Cheryl Baptist, and I am here to give a testimony of how good God has been. He's truly awesome. He is amazing. You know, when I started this prayer journey, one of the things I asked God for was just a peace and a calm, because initially when the coronavirus story hit Jamaica, that we had our first case, I went into a state of panic and you know Reverend Tashi sent something out shortly after because I guess she recognized that many Christians were going into a state of panic based on what was going on and she reminded us about God's word and she said everything that is happening we must ensure that it lines up with God's word so all the stories that we were hearing and everything was you know and most of it was false and I'm telling you I decided to focus on one man, God Almighty, and I'm telling you, it has been a pleasure. I am bursting with joy. It is joy unspeakable. The Lord has given me this peace that nothing that is happening around me right now actually gets me into that stage. Yes, I do listen and I hear the, the numbers and 
I acknowledge what is going on, but I'm not absorbed in everything that is going on and all the prophets that, is, that are saying this and you know, I have just withdrawn myself from all of that and I've been focusing on God and this prayer journey has allowed me fellowship with my brothers and sisters, the constant prayer and that unity that has just given me this additional strength and I just like to thank God. I thank Him for this peace that He has given me, this joy through everything and when all of this struck and you know, I had just started this new business venture because I went on a 21 day fast twice and I prayed about this and I said, Lord, give me a new idea, a new revelation for my business. I just want to advance it because I'm a caterer. And I remember we started, I started this, this new venture just at the beginning of Lent and it was going great. And then COVID came and orders stopped coming. And usually these things would depress me and I would start worrying about how my bills are going to be paid, how my tithes are going to be paid. And to God be the glory. Peace in the midst of this plan, that's what he has given me. I have not worried about anything. I've not worried about orders not coming in. I'm not worried about after COVID what is going to happen because I know the God that I serve is going to finish what he started. And I would just like to encourage us that listen, no matter what is going on around, everything is tearing down, everything is seems dim and dismal, do not look anywhere else but look straight on God. Just keep your eyes fixed on him. Keep your mind on him. Keep his words in your heart. And I'm telling you, he will carry you through this storm. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Sister Tanise here. And I'll be sharing my testimony on the impact COVID has had on my life and character thus far. Firstly, COVID, when it all started, I had a fear, right? I mean, for COVID, it is, it is in itself a crisis. And when I first heard about COVID and, and the, the effects of COVID and the sickness that it brought about, I had a, a, a sense of fear. But right now, right now, based on knowledge and understanding, COVID, is no longer a fear for me personally it's no a blessing and i'm here to let you know about the blessings that i have experienced from covid firstly for me personally covid has brought me back to spirituality to an optimum level it has brought about a revivalism in my spiritual life prayer prayer in itself for me is like 99.9 percent .9 and i'm working on that 0.1 percent right now as it is i've never prayed so much in my spiritual walk with God. Overall in my life, I've never prayed so much. Normally my prayer life would be limited, but in light of COVID right now, I'm praying for the nation. I'm praying for people that I don't know about. I'm praying for children that I don't know about. I'm, I'm just praying overall. I'm praying for our leaders in the church, our government leaders, I mean, this, this is what COVID has done for me spiritually. For my personal relationship with God, he's more than a friend right now to me. Right now, he's more than a friend to me. He's like a part of me, like, you know, like a conjoined twin. That is how personally, spiritually, the experience that I'm having where my spiritual walk with God is concerned. And, and, and that is for me personally, spiritually, but also for my family. Let me tell you something, brothers and sisters, this COVID thing, being at home, spending time with my children and, and my extended family. I mean, for my girls, I have two girls. And for them, I've seen their personalities 
um, exuberance that I've never seen before. I've, I've felt their love more than anything, more than before. So we are no more bonded. And when I say we are more tightly bonded, and I thank God for that. So this is what COVID has done positively. This is how COVID has impacted my family life. It has impacted my spiritual life. My work life, brothers and sisters, I'm no, I can say I'm no tech savvy because I'm presenting meetings where information technology is concerned. So I'm more tech savvy. Professionally, I've developed, I've grown. So COVID for me right now, even though despite it being a crisis, it is now an opportunity for me to be more creative. And I've seen this as well in my church, PHCC right now. I've seen where creativity is like on top of its game with our church leaders. And this is a good thing. This is positivity for me in itself for COVID. So I'm here to tell you that despite COVID being a pandemic and a crisis, it's not permanent and nothing is permanent except God and his promises. So any one of you out there who are still feeling a sense of fear, a sense of trauma, a sense of despair, a sense of frustration or anxiety, brothers and sisters, let me tell you something, you need to lean on God go to God in prayer read your Bible join the groups right now we have our unity prayer session that is running concurrently it's we're now in our in our third week and I'm telling you if you're not yet a part of this unity prayer session and you are experiencing fear depression anxiety all of those negative things come join the unity prayer session you will gain a sense of revivalism a sense of refreshness so any one of you out there who are not yet a part of this unity prayer session come on board it will help you the teachings are there for you so i want to let you know for me personally covid despite a being a crisis it is now an, a positive impact for me. I've seen it even in my community. Persons are more unified. The community is more together. I'm seeing um, a lot of empathy taking place. Me personally, I'm feeling a sense of solidarity. So any one of you out there who is experiencing anything that is not of God, come on board and I'm here to let you know wherever you're weak God is here to strengthen you so look to him pray to God go to him in prayer and supplication read your Bible feed on his word because God don't give us more than we can bear God don't give us more than we can bear and I'm here to let you know that God is a good God and we have to worship him in spirit and in truth. So have a good night, everyone. And wherever you're weak on, I pray that God will give you a renewed sense of strength. And I continue to ask God to cover us and protect us and cover this country and our leaders. So have a good night, everyone. And once again, prayer and supplication is the way to go in this COVID-19. Thank you very much. As we ourselves were led to Christ, let us today make it a possibility to lead someone to Christ. Today a man is somewhere proclaiming the good news, winning families to Jesus all around his neighborhood he tells them that god is able to make their house 
a home. He wants to win his world for Christ, but he can't do it alone. But each one can reach one. As we follow after Christ, we all can lead one. We can lead one to our Savior. Then together we can tell the world Jesus is the way. If we each one reach one. The message is unchanging. Go ye into all the world and share the love of Jesus. Far away, or oh, door to door, you see, just like somebody told you that Jesus loves you so, you must tell someone who will tell someone, tell the whole world of, for each one can reach one. As we follow after Christ, we all can lead one. We can lead one to our Savior. Then together we can tell the world Jesus is the way. If we each one reach one so will you go and labor will you hold high your light one by one and two by two let us win our world for jesus christ each one can reach one as we follow after Christ, we all can lead one. We can all lead somebody to our Savior. Then together, let us tell our world, Jesus is the only way if we each one. Hi everyone. A virus that originated in Wuhan, China rapidly spread to the entire world. COVID-19 is a present reality in our day. 3.7 million confirmed cases, 1.2 million recoveries, and 258,000 deaths worldwide. Jamaica had the privilege of seeing the impending pandemic before it hit us. Our government did very well to curtail the spread of COVID-19 within our shores, and their efforts are still commendable. It's time we realize that human effort alone is not enough to fight this COVID-19 stronghold. To date, there are 400 and 73 confirmed cases in Jamaica, 56 recoveries, and 9 deaths. We need God's help. Abba Father, Almighty God, Fathers, we come, Lord God Almighty. Lord, we come in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we want to thank you for this day, Lord, this day that you have made, O oh God. And Lord God Almighty, we come knowing you are all powerful, almighty God. And so, God, when we come praying to you, believe, 
O oh God Almighty, you by faith that our prayers will answer. And so, Almighty God, as I come on behalf of the government of Jamaica, also the opposition, Lord God Almighty, Lord, we are standing in the gap for them, Lord God Almighty. Lord, we are praying, O oh God Almighty, that, O oh God, oh, that you grant them wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, O oh God, as a leader, Lord God Almighty, so that, Lord God, they can lead your people in the right way, Lord God Almighty. Lord God, I pray, Almighty God, that they will come together, Lord God Almighty, and pray, O oh God, seek your face, God. Lord God Almighty, praying for understanding, Lord God, from you, so that they will have a better idea of leading your people. Lord God, as we pray, Almighty God, Lord God Almighty, they have been chosen as leader. And so, Lord God, we pray for them in the house of parliament. Lord God Almighty, in the name of Jesus, that Lord, when they are coming to the, these plans and this order, Lord God Almighty, it will be done in the right order way to lead us, O oh God. Lord God Almighty, give them direction, O oh God Almighty. Lord, we ask, O oh God Almighty, that as a leader, Almighty God, it's not an easy task on his hand, but God, with you all things are possible. So therefore, God, Lord God, I seek deeper in you, O oh God Almighty, and that, O oh God, it will be more easier for them to understand, to lead your people in the right way. Father God, we pray that you bless them in a very special way. Lord God Almighty, Lord God, we pray, Lord God, Lord God, against every endurance, Lord God Almighty. We come against every plan of the enemy upon their lives in the name of Jesus. Father God, we pray for their family, O oh God Almighty. And Lord God Almighty, we pray, Almighty God, that, O oh God, you will sustain them, O oh God, and that they will come to know you as Lord and Savior, O oh God Almighty. So, Lord, at this time, as we pray for the government, Lord God Almighty, there's nothing impossible that you can't do, God Almighty. Lord God, I pray, Almighty God, that there, there will be more Christians in the House of Parliament, Lord. Lord God, we ask all of this of you. Lord, and we thank you, Lord, for what you are doing in that House of Parliament, O oh God. No, O oh God Almighty, and continually doing in the name of Jesus. Father God, we pray also for the frontline front workers, Almighty God. Lord God, the nurses, the doctors, the police, the soldiers, all the frontline workers, Almighty God. We pray, God, for wisdom. We pray, God, for knowledge and understanding, Almighty God. We pray, Almighty God, for health wise, O oh God. O oh God Almighty, if they are not in good health, Lord, they cannot perform their work, Lord. Lord God, they need extra strength, oh God. Even at this time of the COVID-19, God, oh God, there's so much, oh God, they have to be on their feet, oh God. Lord God, some of them can't even go home, they have to be working back to back, Lord. Oh God, I pray for the, nurse, the doctors, oh God Almighty. Lord God Almighty, continue to give them wisdom, O oh God. Continue, O oh God, to let love shared among them, O oh God, that they can extend it, O oh God Almighty. Lord God, I pray that they will not feel weary nor tired, O oh God. I pray that they will not give up, God, but they will steadfast, O oh God, as you continue to keep them in your presence, O oh God. O oh God, I pray for life, O oh God Almighty. Lord God, I pray, Almighty God, and you continue to keep them, O oh God Almighty, because you are a God who sustain and preserve, O oh God. 
Father God, I pray that there will be no lack, O oh God. I pray for their families, O oh God, who have been so concerned, O oh God. I pray, O oh God Almighty, that this disease, O oh God Almighty, will not really attend to their family and no one, Lord God Almighty, as they perform their work. Father God, we just want to thank you, Lord God Almighty of hearing our prayers, of praying for the government and all frontline workers, the police and duty. Lord God, it's time in the curfew, Lord. I pray for obedience, Lord God Almighty. Oh God, that things will be more easy and light, oh God Almighty. Lord, we just want to thank you, oh God Almighty, for all you have done, for what you are continually doing, oh God. Blessed is the name of our Lord, the Lord who we can depend upon. Lord God Almighty, we have just activate our faith, believing, oh God, that all we ask in the name of Jesus, our prayers have been answered. And oh God, we tell you thanks, oh God, as this prayer we pray in your mercy name, in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen, amen, and amen. In this time of COVID, many families are in different levels of confinement. Children are at home, wives and husbands are working from home, different situations. But not everybody is happy. Not everybody is having the time of their life and bonding. Different families have different challenges. And we have seen a rise of domestic violence in Jamaica and the worldwide because of the confinement of COVID. So today we're going to pray and we're going to pray against all aspects of domestic violence. So bow your heads, please. Mighty Righteous Father, we come before you this afternoon because you are great and mighty Lord God. We thank you and we bless you, God, for the opportunity to come to you, to come in your presence, Lord Jesus, and to just say thank you, to lift you up, to praise your name and to glorify you for you are worthy, God. Lord Jesus, today we take before you the situations of COVID violence, COVID God and domestic violence. Father God, we pray, mighty God, right now for those children. Father God, their homes are not happy and going to school was their only outlet, Lord Jesus, because they may be being abused by a mother, father, any um, family member, Lord Jesus, that they live with. But Father God, they have now been put in a position that they cannot escape. They have no school, no church, nowhere to go to escape from this. So Father God, we pray, mighty God, even now that you put a hedge of protection around them, Lord God. We pray, mighty God, that Lord, those attackers, those, those abusers will be put to naught, Lord God. And Lord, you will cleanse their minds, Lord Jesus. And any aspect of them that want to, want to touch these children, Children in any way, whether physical abuse, beating them, or sexual abuse, abuse, Lord God, or emotional abuse. We pray, mighty God, against all aspects of domestic violence. We pray, mighty God, that you, Lord Jesus, will triumph in these situations, Lord God. And where, Lord Jesus, husbands and wives are arguing, Lord God, our mothers are beating their children, our fathers beating their children, Lord God. Lord God, we pray, mighty God, for a spirit of peace upon them lord god these parents lord we know it is hard to homeschool these children we pray mighty god for extra helping of patience of care of love father god we know no for we don't don't know how these teachers handle god and we are grateful for the teachers what the teachers are not around now and father we have to be the ultimate teachers so father god let us be patient lord jesus let us be loving let us be kind we pray against all aspects of physical domestic violence lord jesus we pray that instead of arguing Husbands and wives and partners, Lord Jesus, they will 
come together. They will find new ways to communicate. They will find reasons, Lord Jesus, to reach out to you. And instead of to argue and shout at each other, they will decide to shout praises to your name as I come together. We pray, mighty God, for the single moms, God, who are struggling on their own. Lord Jesus, sometimes it is hard for them to manage all their children. But Father God, we pray the strength and that they will not, 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 not decide to just get angry and lose their temper and hurt their children. We pray, mighty God, that you will just rest up peace upon their hearts. We pray for the single fathers, God. We pray for those that those who are unable to cope in this COVID time, Lord Jesus, and decide that they must take it out on their children. We pray, mighty God, that you will bind up that behavior in the name of Jesus. We pray, mighty God, that all aspects of domestic violence will be put to naught, Father God. Our children will be protected. Our the wives and husbands and partners and our people will be protected, Lord Jesus. Lord, only you can help them, God, because they are behind closed doors now, God. And before any police, any neighbor can come there is so much that can happen so we pray mighty god that you lord jesus be their protector you be their deliverer in this time lord jesus let them know god that once they cry out to you god that you got them you have them back you have them covered under your blood mighty god so we want to just thank you lord god in advance for the peace that shall reign upon these families god we want to thank you in advance lord god for the togetherness that will come instead of the shouts mighty god God. We want to thank you in advance, God, for the celebration and the joyous praising that shall happen in these words that instead of we choose to cuss and fight, we shall raise up songs and sing your praises. We thank you, God, because we know it is done in the name of Jesus. We pray, mighty God, again, Lord God, for just a covering over each and every one of them in confinement no god cover them protect them heal those who need to 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 be healed of this the, the emotional damage that they have god and those that are causing the emotional damage from whatever aspect heal even them god and let them reach out to you for healing we thank you jesus because we know that it is done in your name we thank you god because we can't come to you and ask this of you we thank you god because you are lord almighty and there is none like you we thank you for the opportunity to come to you in this forum lord jesus as a church whether as we go online lord god and togetherness to fight against these things because lord you tell us that our our battles are not physical lord jesus you tell us we know that our battles are spiritual spiritual father so whether we pray in online or whether we're praying together in a church we know that our prayers are heard by you and so god we thank you and we bless your name as we just lift these situations up to you and thank you for working in them in jesus name we pray amen Thank you, mighty God. Father, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you for all the prayers that have been prayed, oh God. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, that we can trust in you because you are a reliable God. Lord, we thank you for, for the healing that is coming to those who are infected by the COVID-19. We thank you for the healing that's coming to those who have been plagued, Lord God, with a spirit of suicide. We thank you, mighty God, for the deliverance that is coming, for the salvation that is coming to our unsaved relatives, oh God. We thank you, mighty God, that your word is taking root even now in the hearts of your people, O oh God Almighty. We thank you, mighty God, that your people are abounding in the work of the Lord. We thank you, O oh God Almighty, that in our hearts, Lord God, we have set aside Jesus Christ. We thank you, mighty God, for what you are doing in this season. Lord God Almighty, we thank you that our needs are met. We thank you, mighty God, that our family members are protected. We thank you, mighty God, that we are provided for amidst the shortage. We thank you, Lord God, that in the midst of the economic crisis, we are being preserved by the power of the Holy Spirit. We thank you, mighty God, for what you are doing in our lives. 
Lord, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. We thank you, oh God Almighty, for, for just the pouring out, the outpouring of your Holy Spirit upon our lives. We thank you, mighty God, that at the end of it all, Lord, we will experience the abundance, Lord God, that comes from you. We thank you, mighty God, that you have been keeping us. We thank you, Lord God, for the lives and the souls that are being saved. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, that your power even now is being demonstrated as we pray, Lord, that you will show yourself to be God in this country, Jamaica. We declare Jamaica for Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus. So, Father God, we thank you. We thank you, mighty God, that our prayers are heard. We thank you, Lord God, that you are actively at work in our waiting. And Lord God, behind the scenes and in front of the scenes and beside the scenes, Lord, you are front and center. We give you thanks, Lord God. And Lord, we rejoice because we know that you are going to come through for us. We rejoice, Lord, because we know that the victory has been secured for us in Jesus Christ. We rejoice because we know that we are putting our trust. We have put our trust in a God who will never fail us. We are so happy and joyful because of your presence. So, Lord, we just want to say thank you. As we give you the glory, we give you the honor, we give you the praise. Well, I pray, mighty God, for every person watching this program at this time. Lord, you know the desire of their heart. You know, mighty God, what they have been believing you for and praying you for. Lord, you see those who are struggling, tests and trials on every side. Mighty God, you see those who are, who are really just waiting, mighty God, and waiting and calling out and crying out to you in the name of Jesus Christ I pray that by the power of your Holy Spirit Lord you will grant them the desires of their heart that is according to your will you and you alone take the glory oh God Lord God we we I just pray a blessing over every person who participated in this program today Lord I thank you for their willingness I thank you for their service I thank you oh God that together we can worship you quarantine style but lord god over we cannot be quarantined from your love nothing can separate us from your love and that is why we continue to do what we do because we are being empowered by you so spirit of the living god just take all the glory for yourself as we say thanks in jesus name amen 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 hallelujah amen Amen. Amen. So shall it be. Praise God. Thank you so much for staying with us. It was a wonderful time in prayer and in God's presence. We look forward to seeing you in our other services. Join us online. You can look for Portmore Holiness Christian Church on YouTube. We stream our services live on a Sunday morning at 8 a.m. We have prayer services every Thursday. So next week we will see you again, same time, same place. And of course, we have our Bible studies on a Tuesday evening at 7 p.m. You can't afford to be left out. The Bible says, pray without ceasing. And so, at this time in our church, we are having a series of prayer sessions every three hours on the hour. Can you believe it? 6 a.m., 9 a.m., 12 midday, 3 p.m., 6 p.m., 9 p.m., 12 midnight, and 3 a.m., and then 6 a.m. again. We have at least another seven days to go. So guess what? If you are interested in being part of the Unity Prayer Sessions, yes, that's what it's called, I just invite you, download the Zoom app. Look for Zoom Cloud Meetings. It's free to download. 
download the Zoom app, give us a call at 876-989-6004 or send us an email at phccja at yahoo.com and we would love to give you the information that would allow you to connect with us as we pray every three hours on the hour. These are serious times and I invite every Christian to get with God's program and don't be left out. Would you lift your hands with me as we anticipate a blessing? Come on, lift your hands. That's right. Now unto him who is able to keep us from falling and to present us blameless, yea, spotless before his throne with exceeding great joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, to him be glory, dominion, majesty, and power, now and forevermore. Amen, amen, amen. God bless you. I send you a virtual hug. God bless you. It is so good to see you, and we look forward to seeing you again. God bless you. God bless your family, and see you next week. Thank you.